Howdy y'all and welcome back to Cup of Cheer in this little impromptu version of KT's Kitchen Corner. I just wanted to share a little recipe from me and mine to you and yours uh, since, well, Christmas dinner is going to be coming up any day now. So here we go. It's croutons and I have a lot of allergies so I just thought I would share for those of you out there that might have similar ones or family members with similar allergies how we make our croutons gluten and dairy free without any tropical oils. So here we go. Um, I, we use Canyon Bakehouse Mountain White bread. I am not sponsored. We just like it. It's a good bread for this. We cut it up into little squares. Mom mostly does that work, if I'm honest. Cut it up into squares. Use everything, the crust and all. And that's in here. And then we put some oil, like a lot of olive oil. Uh, sprinkle it into the bowl, which we haven't done yet. And we use, let's see, salt, pepper, onion flakes, garlic powder, oregano, and basil. I'll put it all down below. We don't have exacting measurements of how much of each uh, seasoning to put in because, frankly, sometimes our flavor palette is a little different. <laughs> but we like to put those things in. We mix it all together in a mixing bowl, put it on baking sheets, bake it in the oven at 375 for about 20 minutes, if I recall correctly. Is that right? Yep. Yep. And when it's all done, we dump it onto our stove on, it's a glass stove. We put it on paper towels to kind of soak up any of the extra oil that in case there's too much on there and let it dry there for a little while and then dump it into um, a just bowl. a large bowl for saving for later. So here we are at the next stage in cooking, baking, making our croutons. As you can see, I have topped our stovetop with paper towels and we have dumped our croutons on here to just kind of dry out a little bit. Uh, that gives it a little more texture. It will dry a little more with the longer it's on here. These took about 25 minutes per batch, which was three cookie sheets uh, cooking at 25 minutes on 375. So yeah, um, there you go. There are croutons. Eventually these will then get put into a large bowl and either put on top of our salads or as we plan to use them for predominantly in our stuffing. Again, this is gluten-free bread with oil, salt, pepper, basil, oregano, oregano some onion flakes, and garlic, and garlic powder. And there you go. Have fun. I hope this helps y'all. I, I know this is kind of impromptu, not my typical style for Katie's Kitchen Corner or for Cup of Cheer, but hey, I'm festive, right? Thanks for watching. From, my, from me and mine to you and yours, a very Merry Christmas and a cup of good cheer. Bye!